10 cc on under under one eye. Periocular melanosis responds nicely. So this is carboxy therapy. Again a simple therapy. Next we will go in for mesotherapy. Mesotherapy actually we have two agents here. One is miso repair. The other one is miso fort. Miso repair after doing any surgery. After doing any surgery to prevent that repair, to see that the modulation, remodulation occurs correctly. We use miso repair. This is a miso gun. It's a guarded thing. Right? Just put close to the face. Don't pierce it. Right? That's it. See that? It injects. I think you are able to see the drops. This is one. The other one is miso fourth. Miso fourth is for skin rejuvenation. Skin rejuvenation, photo damaged skin, all we can go in for miso foot. The other one is phosphatidyl choline, which I have been using regularly now. It's an anti lipolytic substance, anti lipolytic substance, the skin tightening. In all skin tightening, if you want to tighten the skin, if you want to tighten the skin, we earlier we used to go in for surgery. One cc in one place. 3 cc for the whole neck. 1, 1, 1. 1 cc, 1 cc, 1 cc. 3 cc will produce a stiffening of the skin. Again, that will last for only 3 to 6 months. Again, it will come. Something like a radio frequency tightener or IPL tightener. IPL also has a skin tightener. Radio frequency also has a tightener. With radio frequency also, you can go in for tightening. So this is all a therapy of anti-aging. Now, what is being the new concept? The new concept in this anti-aging measure. With mesotherapy, we can even go in for a small Chinese method, which is being practiced very fastly now. See this. You want to shove, uh, tighten this area. What we do is, from the tragus, this is the central part, put a point there. Just below the angle of the mouth, put a point there, below a point. And third point will be in the angle of the mandible. Take a small knot from here, like something like a suture. It's also something like a dental floss. Put a notch here. Take this both knots to this area. And put a knot over here. Every day you have to tighten. Every day just remove it, tighten it. See, this should have gone inside, this should have gone inside. You are going to pin it over here. Let me see, let me show on my face. See, this is the angle of the mouth. A point here. Angle of the mandible, a point here. And the central point of the tragus, right? Here. Put a small suture. Don't put a knot. Take the small thread and go to the front. Again put the same knot there. Again take it over there. Put a knot over it. Something like hanging. Hanging a baby. Every day, tighten it to in and around 1 mm. Leave it for 15 days. Remove that. Everything goes off. The wrinkle all disappears. Six months it will be there. After six months again you have to do. This is one method. We are using phosphatidyl golden. We are using radio frequency tightening. We are using everything. But this gives a tremendous result. Same way for the neck also we can lift it like that. The point where we have to suture is here only. Anything. That is the basic point. Here the results are not good with that because of the inclination here. 
but in the face it gives a tremendous results next comes sclerotherapy next we are going in for sclerotherapy we normally use we normally refer all varicose veins we use to refer all the hemangioma to plastic surgery department to surgery department everywhere but now this is a very simple technique what we are using in stanley is sodium tetradiesel sulfate in my private practice i am using polydecanol polydecanol is costly but very very easy to administer no complications sclerotherapy with sodium tetradiesel sulfate there will be little amount of complication little amount how do we do this first the percentage of the sodium tetradiesel sulfate is 0.33 percentage i let me just just show that uh, this uh, demonstration see Put, putting the vapor into the vein i think you were you able to see the this is a foam sclerotherapy we produce the foam by yes just very very slowly we have to go in the only thing before going in before the blood the one the bonds the blood goes out what you have to do is you have to empty the blood has gone out now you have to empty the blood vessel empty it okay empty the blood vessel and then inject empty the blood vessel so that see only after emptying only after emptying inject right not more than not more than 1 cc in a place we dilute it to 3 to 5 times any 0.3 percentage sodium tetradiesel sulfate 3 to 5 times we dilute slowly we inject everything goes off same way with the hemangioma same way with other vascular anomalies i will show you some cases where we have done sclerotherapy and how it has improved here the wall is going to be fibrosed it's going to be something like an irritant reaction where the endothelium goes in for a damage and leads on to fibrosis this fibrosis we can see as a cord like structure i am going i am injecting in one vein this will become a cord within 15 days you can go in for a repeat shot in another area if it is a big vein you give 1 ml in one area above 1 inch again you give 1 ml 2 3 4 you can go up to 10 ml that is 0.3 percentage of sodium tetradiesel sulfate diluted to 3 to 5 times on a vein 1 cc in one area i just injected 1 cc only and after finishing that give a pressure dressing give a give a pressure dressing leave alone the dressing for at least a period of a week a dynaplast pressure dressing 0.3 percentage diluted to 3 to 5 times injected onto the varicose vein now we are getting lots of cases from the vascular surgery department they had done a varicose vein they had done a surgery failure again they come to us again we do we go in for sclerotherapy we have not met with failures but we have met with complications also if you are not properly administering into the vessel if you are just just going to go out it will form a small necrosis at the area and that will form a big ulcer that will take 2 3 months for healing so Hello. be careful Hello. in any vessel whether it's hemangioma anything 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 be careful that you end up you are inside the vessel you go into the vessel empty the vessel take the foam sclerotherapy inject it inside why do we use that foam sclerotherapy to see that the material the sclerosant gets attached to the end of the endothelial wall and within 15 days everything will become fibrosed Sir. this can be used in all stasis ulcer cases all stasis eczema cases you can use i will show you some cases where we have end up with the failure just to show see this Sir. is a case of hemangioma lip we have done three four settings he had a lip of so much big size 